What's up dreamers, how are you doing? So many of you have been asking me about GCMS notes. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about them in detail. I'll tell you what is it, how to apply and why it can be helpful. So what, how and why in this video. Stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Shitanshu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia, Without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got tons of videos on the immigration process of both of these countries. I regularly upload videos every week. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now. Okay, so what are GCMS notes? GCMS basically stands for Global Case Management System. It is not complicated. It's just a software system used by IRCC to process applications for citizenship and immigration. Now, the system contains a detailed record of each applicant's files, including correspondence from and to IRCC. It also contains all the documents received from the applicant, detailed notes from the officers reviewing the file as well. So basically GCMS notes are the notes for a particular file. So if we have submitted an application for let's say the permanent residency, in that case there would be a file by your name and if you want you can ask for the GCMS notes and they will give you the complete file with all the correspondence from and to the ISCC. It will give it will also have the documents uh, the detailed notes from the officers who have reviewed the file. Now, the GCMS notes are issued under the Access to Information and Privacy Act, which is ATIP. It is just like RTI in India, through which we can actually go and ask for information from the government bodies. So, how it can be useful to us? Generally, it is asked from uh, people who have the applications pending for a long time. So let's say the PR application, the general timeline is six months, but it has been eight months and it is still pending. So in that case, you can definitely go ahead and ask for the GCMS notes. It is also asked by people who are, who have actually got their application rejected. So how it can be helpful? So if you are waiting for an application, you are actually, you know, you can track the progress, figure out where your file actually is, why is it pending. So you can also get an in-depth overview of the progress of your file through agent notes and comments. So it would be very detailed, you know, it can be from 30 pages to 100 pages file. Uh, it would be a very detailed document. If your file actually, you know, if your application actually got rejected, you can find and understand the reasons for rejection. If your application actually got rejected, in that case, there would definitely be a reason. They would give you the reason, but that reason which they give you won't be a detailed reason. You know, probably they would give you a reason in a couple of lines. But you, if you order the GCMS notes, you would get the very detailed explanation through every step, you know, where you did, you did the mistake or, you know, how it can be actually uh, corrected. I mean, you can actually analyze it and uh, get to know it. You can get a legal opinion on your immigration file. If you can consult an immigration lawyer uh, and, you know, you can decide to go ahead accordingly. You can also get a copy of the documents you submitted in support of your application. This is the way GCMS notes can be helpful to you. Now, how to apply? To send a request, you must be a Canadian citizen, a permanent resident of Canada, or an individual or a corporation currently in Canada. So if you're living overseas, you just cannot apply for the GCMS notes because this is a right given to the to those people who are living there in Canada. Okay, the fees uh, for request is very minimal, is just $5, 5 Canadian dollars. And uh, if it is requested on behalf of someone else, consent form is required, which is also available online. 
you need to fill that consent form and probably you need to get some signatures and then it needs to be submitted it is both online or through mail correspondence there's a link i'll provide there in the description box you can go through that link if you need you can definitely uh, there's a correspondence mail address given over there and there's a link to apply uh, the gcms notes online you have to fill all those details online i'll provide that link in the description box below that link belongs to the official website of government of canada so this was all about gcms notes that you basically need to know so thank you for watching this video please like the video if you think it was useful and uh, share it with your friends if you think it can help them also if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please subscribe it right 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 now